Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Monday, the 16th day of July. Here we go. Today's halacha is about making a siyum during the nine days. During the nine days, we don't eat uh, meat or drink wine, but if you're making a siyum on, let's say, finishing a tractate of Talmud, which is a very festive occasion, you are allowed to have a meat meal and invite friends to that meal to enjoy meat along with you, even though they didn't do any of the studying with you, as long as they're there for the siyum probably already knew that. What if they come late to the seum? You already finished reading the last words of that tractate and they walked in and they say, oh no, we missed the seum part, now we can't eat the meat. Well, the good news is that as long as the seuda is still going on, they're just joining up with the festive seuda that was for the seum, even though they missed the actual words of the seum, they're still fine. That's the good news. But I want you to watch out for this trick. I've heard that some uh, meat restaurants, kosher restaurants, do this. They say, hey, if you're making a seum during the nine days, come do your seum at our restaurant and your meal will be free. And we'll serve you meat. And the reason we're willing to make your meal free is because you're going to invite all your friends. They're going to pay. And we get a lot of customers into our restaurant that way. Nice idea. And that is okay. Um, you're making a seum. It's at the restaurant. Everybody pays except you. That's fine. <laughs> And it's a meat meal and everyone's part of the suda. But then, here's where it gets a little shaky. Then the restaurant stays open for the rest of the night. Nine o'clock that night, they're serving uh, meat to new customers who are coming in. And they're saying, hey, how come you're serving meat? And they go, oh, because this is a continuation of a seum that happened four hours ago. Uh, none of the members of the seum are still there. They're just calling the rest of that evening the continuation of that seum. I don't think that's so kosher to do it that way. If you're ever involved in such a plan... Uh, or you know that something like that is going on and you want to be there, check with a good Orthodox rabbi to find out if you can join up with that seum if you're a little bit late, how late, but certainly to use that trick to keep the restaurant open, serving meat all night long, might be stretching it. Please talk to your rabbi before relying on that one. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.